How do you escalate your problem inside of Amazon seller support? There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Your catalog page isn't displayed right. Their brand registry is not connected. The brand note ID is not set. My trademark won't file. The sky is ripping me off. There's an unauthorized seller. The list goes on and on, right? Well, my name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to escalate solutions within seller support. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is that Amazon is a culture of escalation. So the frontline representatives that work at Amazon have to push their things through a system or a process. They cannot deviate from this. Most of the tools have been taken away from frontline seller support representatives and they do not have the authority, the means, or the tools to actually give you what you're asking for. This is especially problematic when your challenge is not solvable by the system, a la the system is freaking broken. This frequently happens when Amazon comes out with a new policy, a new rollout, and they do such a thing without updating any training procedures, policies, or help files, right? We've all seen this happen many, many times. So what you're gonna have to do is escalate above the front line. Now, many of you know about the proverbial, let me send an email to jeff at amazon.com. And by the way, it's actually still a good solution. It still works. But before you do that, you do need to go through the escalation process, right? The uh, unwritten guidelines or rules of how to navigate this sort of stuff with seller support. So first thing you're gonna do is file a ticket, routine, normal, run-of-the-mill stuff. I prefer filing tickets over calling in to seller support on a 10 to 1 ratio. It's just, I really hate the waste of time that phone calls uh, happen. So in my general ticketing policies and procedures, I always try and keep it simple and basic. Here is my problem in one or two sentences. Here is my preferred solution in one or two sentences. And here is why you should give me what I want in one or two sentences, right? For example, if you're trying to update a title and you've put your seller contribution in and Amazon just won't take it, uh, you can then file a ticket and say, update my title to my seller's contribution. That's the why, what I want or what the problem is. Here's, here is the, um, you know, the challenge that I'm having right now, consumers are buying this and expecting A, but they're getting B, right? So there is the reason for why Amazon should update that or the problem rather. Uh, and then the, the reason Amazon should trust you is because you are the brand owner, you have a picture, a cell phone picture of the item, and you have a UPC that's on your website and you link to it, right? So these are the reasons that Amazon should believe you to make the changes to solve your problem and give you the solution that you're looking for. That's the basics. And, and by the way, that basics works routinely. However, when that doesn't work, and, and, and I have an issue right now, I'll actually pull up my catalog and I'll show you my challenge right now. Inside here, I'm selling a Mommy 2022 box, and you can see on the left-hand side, it says search suppressed. And it wasn't the typical like issue with the title. It wasn't the typical issue with the main photo. There was actually an attribute that was conflicting in the catalog where we couldn't put the count in as one, and no amount of finagling that field would fix it. This issue festered for three weeks. We missed the entire Mother's Day run. And as you can see, I've got over 499 boxes just sitting there, which is wildly uh, unprofitable amount of damages sitting around. So I did all of the right things. I went in and filed a seller support ticket. I did a template file upload. And then I went over to brand registry and I repeated the same dang process. And I was like, hey, I need this issue fixed. I submitted the tickets. And this went on and on and on. And we're talking dozens of tickets at this point. I was yelling at my team and I'd be like, come on guys, we're supposed to be the best catalog team in the world. We can't fix my own product on my box. I'm like, this is unacceptable, right? Like I was super frustrated. And so we ended up sending an email to jeff at amazon.com and that's actually what fixed the problem, which is ridiculous, right? So here's the result of that. Your email to Jeff Bezos, re -Asin. My name is Jennifer, a member of the amazon.com executive selling partner relations team. We'll serve as your point of contact. Please work through the resolution. We received your email and requested I research this issue. I understand, please be informed. I was able to confirm that both list listings are active and searchable on the website. 
And of course, they didn't say what they did or how they changed it. They just said, hey, the problem is resolved, right? Which is, of course, because that's what the seller executive relationships team does. They just fix the problem. They don't tell you how or why the problem persisted, why the system is broken or anything of the sort. This whole experience is why I still sell on Amazon myself, despite having over 300 employees and 250 clients that sell on the Amazon platform. I still like to learn and feel the pain of our own uh, clients and our own sellers that use the platform. Tell me in the comments, what is the most frustrating thing that's ever happened to you while selling on Amazon? I'm sure there's lots of different things. Don't forget to use escalation language and continue to follow up. And when emailing uh, Jeff, some of the tips that you need to do is follow the process, follow the internal escalation process of Amazon. Go through the regular routine first, file it in seller support, file it in seller centrals, brand registry, and all of those good things, and then start to escalate. Do re re replies back to those tickets and try and get some pin action going back and forth. If your problem still persists after three, four pin actions, you might have to open up multiple tickets and then after you've done all of these things, go ahead and send an email to jeff at amazon.com, which is the seller uh, relations executive team. Obviously, Jeff doesn't read these himself, but they do have a team of people that specifically work on these issues that are based in the U.S. and do go around the broken processes and systems. And in that email, you do need to write in there that you're going to you're gonna show them the same demonstrated process. Here is my problem, here is my desired outcome, and here is why you should help me. Hey, I have this problem, my catalog listing is down, my solution, please reinstate it. My, the reason why you should help me, Seller Escalations team, is because I went through your regular broken system and processes, I did all of these things, and it's not being resolved. Here are my case IDs, here's my merchant token ID, all of this good stuff, so that you give them a justification to help you. As basic as possible, no narrative, no story, just straight to the point and ask for help, tell them why, and hopefully they will respond back kindly. So these processes do still work. You can also call into seller support and ask for the captive team. We also did this video right here on which day of the week is the best day to call seller support. Hint, it's Saturday and Sunday, but click that to find out why, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.